Have you ever wondered how to get that dreamy bokeh effect without splurging tons of money on expensive lenses? In this video, I'll show you how to achieve professional bokeh effects using just software or your system requirements. If you are on a PC and have an NVIDIA GPU, you will need that for NVIDIA broadcast. But if you're on a PC with an AMD GPU or even a Mac, that's what you're going to use is VCAM and that will work just fine. So let's get straight into it. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our browser and go to obsproject.com. Over here, we're either going to download for Windows or for Mac, depending on your operating system. I'll leave a link in the description to the site. Next, what we're going to want to do is go to NVIDIA Broadcast. I will leave a link in the description as well for this. Or if you're on Mac or an AMD GPU, we will go to vcam.ai. Again, I'll have a link in the description. Once NVIDIA Broadcast is installed, what we're going to want to do is open it up and then we're going to go on this camera tab. You could see me right there. We'll go to whatever camera you're looking for, what you want to be recording in and your effects. I have blur on, I have it on quality and I put it to somewhere around here. I don't want it too much. I don't want it to look fake. The okay, next thing you're going to want to do if you have an AMD GPU, it will look different on Mac and PC, but let's show you what VCAM looks like on PC. Open it up. And of course, you're going to choose your camera. I can't use it right now because I'm using an OBS. And then we're going to do background and adjust the blur. I like somewhere around 11. Of course, do it to your heart's content of what you're trying to go for. Now let's check out how it looks like on Mac. Okay, now that we're in the Mac, what we're going to want to do is open up VCAM. Choose the camera you want. Right now, my other camera is being used, so I'll use the webcam. That will be under the camera tab. So make sure you go to the camera tab first and change your camera to how you want it. We'll go to our background and we'll click blur. This little cogwheel in the corner will let us adjust the blur intensity. It is not as good as NVIDIA broadcast, but it does do the job. Now that everything's set up, what you're going to want to do is open up OBS like I have here, and you're going to want to make your scene and then make a video capture device just by pressing the plus on the source, click the video capture device and open it. Once you have that done, what you're going to want to do is go to the properties of your video capture device and make sure it's on NVIDIA broadcast or VCAM. Once that's done, all you have to do is go either into VCAM or NVIDIA broadcast and adjust the blur intensity to the way you like it. Make this effect look its best. Ensure your lighting is on point. Make sure you have enough lighting on your face to separate you from your background. As well, you could add a key light or even a ring light behind you to further separate you from your background. You won't need any other OBS filters if your lighting is good enough. Depending on how powerful your computer is, this can cause lagging within either your computer or the video itself. You can go to OBS and adjust the video settings to fix this if it occurs. Also, make sure no other intensive applications are running in the background. If you'd like a video on different video settings to remove the lag, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And as promised, a bonus tip to achieve this bokeh effect without using the software mentioned. But keep in mind, this is not the most ideal approach and can take a while. We will make this effect in your editing software, which for me is DaVinci Resolve. Okay, for this quick effect, it's not the most ideal, but what you're going to want to do is open up your editing software. For me, it is DaVinci. And we could see it right here. We're going to want to overlay a background clip of just nothing and get our main clip and put it over. What you're going to want to do with that background clip is go to your effects, go to box blur and add a blur on top of it. And then you're going to get the top clip, go to fusion and add a magic mask, mask out your subject and put it to better and 45 and then track all the way through. And once that's done, we could check it out. By following these steps, you can easily enhance your videos with professional looking bokeh effects using just software tools. Remember to experiment with the lighting and settings to get the best results for your specific needs. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more tech tutorials and reviews. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or need further assistance. Thank you guys for watching. It means the world to me. If you found this video helpful or are interested in any other cool tech, check out these videos here. 
And as always, this is You're the Hero. Peace out.